Where do you have your cocktail parties? We do ours on a beach. <laughs> Beautiful. Secondarily to that is they don't have that call to action button underneath the banner. probably wondering did Kim get smaller, dye his hair and just get better looking? Well you, you're wrong, it's not Kim, it's Chris today. Uh, we're going to be talking about funnels. And just go through um, sort of what the difference between a funnel and a website is because a lot of people don't actually know. going to be a warmer source of traffic. With pay, we can assume that it's colder. You've got a cold Oh, yeah. number three I'm back with Kim Barrett our number one experts on social media and Facebook marketing they've got a good um, experiential component to it which I think works so well because obviously you can do either video or you can do still as well but they have such a good video on there which really shows the experience the outcome that people are going to get which is like what does it look like you know, it's obviously it's not gonna look like that on a rainy day, but it's done, they've done a tremendous job showing this is where we are, this is what it looks like, and this is the experience, and this is how you will feel when you come in. That's the location, it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Very good footage, nice, short, punchy, you know, straight to the point, you get the idea. The thing that I think is maybe somewhat lacking is the call, to, like I mentioned last week, is the call to action. Like I would have like a, a come visit us, or something like that, because it is, at the end they fade to just a black screen, yeah. It's like visit yeah. us today. Yeah, absolutely. You know? yeah. Something like that would be the only thing that I would um, change with that. The video is perfect, but that's what I would do. And then secondarily to that is they don't have that call to action button underneath the banner. Do you know what? That That's really important. And they can do a lot of good with a good call to action button there to, for, to book or to inquire more about weddings or events or something like that. Exactly. I would you be know, bringing that, people that's... from that into Messenger like we spoke about last week. I think doing that, they can take bookings in there, they can have inquiries listed that will send messages to their team. Like, you know, I would personally take, cause again, this, it's empty real estate. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so Lily's on her way to Fiji. I don't leave until 10.30 tonight. So going to visit mum. She got back from her trip on Friday, do some family stuff, go home, pack, then go to the gym and catch up with dad, all the fun stuff. On the road again. Putting together a few cheeky slides. What I'm going to be covering in Fiji. Mm, what are the elements? Interesting, interesting. I cannot wait to drop this new content bombs. I feel like they should have a private section here for me based on how much I come here. Because I'm here all the time. It's like my second home. Virgin. So between now and tomorrow, I'm just about to board. I'm gonna have three hours sleep. Beastie boy here. 
Beastie, Beastie Boy. Boy reunion tour is what we call when we go to the gym. Flip around, mm. camera. Yeah. We done now, guys. We are the Forty-five Beastie minutes. Boys. Beastie Boys reunion tour. Four. We done now. Back. Bullet, y'all. I'm representing Thailand in uh, Bula, Fiji. Bula. Yeah. Got Jason, Indy, Lily. Check. Got to do the scope and walk bys. Quilla. Ready. Day one, guys. All the crews. Jason's just jamming. Where do you have your cocktail parties? We do ours on a beach. Hola, Ashley. Be a business warrior, and then you too can drink champagne <laughs> in Fiji. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy 40th birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! Fiji. Sad face. Impact Academy with uh, Lily Sita and Jay Sito. We are enjoying a little bit of, of course, mixed cultures here. Indian food mixed with the beautiful uh, sunset here on the beach. We'll show you guys a little bit of a view. Look at that beautiful lights, beautiful area, and then across there the sunset going down. Whoop, there we go. Just beautiful. So we're here for the Impact Academy retreat. Tomorrow we'll be sharing some content. Jason goes home. But tomorrow we'll be sharing some epic stuff. So I will uh, try and capture a little bit of that for you guys. Stay tuned. Until next time. Adios. Adios. Bulba. Last day of the conference, guys. Now, everyone else had got sick, had food poisoning or something like that during this trip. And me following my rituals, I was like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm not going to get any of this. And last night, this morning, woke up feeling not the best. So I'm into the room early. I still follow my morning routine. Went to the gym, had my apple cider vinegar and salt and everything like that. Um, but I got into the room, had a few travel in. Always come prepared. So I was prepared even though uh, I didn't think anything was going to happen to me. Feeling much better already. I've got my nice uh, water going. I've got a um, iced cold drip coffee, just a little bit here and there, just to give me a little bit of energy. And uh, yeah, feeling good for the day. So first one in, ready for a big day here today. So um, we're just about to wrap up. Yesterday I taught, um, I can show you here, the mogul method. I taught them uh, the elements, that you need in a high converting ad and not the elements you would think it was a fire earth and darkness elements uh, so it was really cool first time presenting that so it was a really good day and here's my friend Schmindy over here she's coming in as well so it was a epic day guys as I said I'm pumped it's the last day today then we all fly back to Brisbane tomorrow so yeah we'll keep you keep your eyes peeled you might see a little few more sneak peeks today until then adios At the airport, guys, a little bit loud. Oh, we are on the way home, on the way to Brisbane. 